and then we can choose a book to read. Scientists from Royal Holloway University are launching a new iPad app to help people with macular disease, the most common cause of sight loss in the UK. People with the condition have scars on their retina which block out the middle of their vision. If a person reads normally, from left to right, the scar will always block out the words. With training, it's possible to learn to keep the eyes still and move the words through the unscarred part of the retina. The new app, the MDEV Reader, is designed to help with reading ebooks. It enables users to scroll text from any EPUB document in a single stream, like a news ticker, as well as change the font size, type and colour. The success of the app relies on the cooperation of publishers who often use digital rights management DRM, systems to lock publications and prevent unauthorised copying. In effect, these prevent the MDEV reader and other accessibility software from unlocking the publication and displaying content in the best way for the users. Yvonne is affected by macular degeneration and was involved in the testing process. I think it will help an awful lot actually because um, a lot of people who are worse off than I am, who were ad ad adamant readers, of course no longer have anything available to them and so therefore they cannot, they can't even probably sometimes see the text on the, the televisions. So I think it will be an enormous advantage. You can change the font, you can change the colouring, you've got one line at a time, um, particularly with people with a steady eye technique, trying to um, read on one line and then going down to the next, they often miss them, whereas at least you've only got one line at a time. Well, my, my research and interests are about eye movements and visual perception, and so I'm aware a little bit about macular disease and the problems people will have. And the idea of the app came from seeing scrolling text on a train announcement board that announced each platform stop, which is scrolling in the way that a news ticker does. And I realised that that might help people with macular disease because it allows them to fixate in a certain location and allows the um, words themselves to scroll into their best part of their peripheral vision. So it was a, as a reading aid for people with macular disease. The main thing is it's for reading e-books, that's what it was developed for. And the idea is that it scrolls the text one line at a time and the speed of scrolling can be controlled using a trackpad on the screen. So if the text becomes more difficult to understand, you can slow it down. Um, easier parts of text you can speed up. So you can suit the reading speed to suit you and the actual tech material you're reading. And it also allows you to change the colour, the background colour, font colour and the font size, so you can present it in quite large fonts, much bigger than you could do if you had an electronic reading device. So when we, when we developed the app, the idea is to allow people to read e-books, but one of the issues is that um, electronic books are encrypted, so that it's a copyright protection for protecting the, uh, the author's rights, which is obviously makes sense. But the downside is that you are restricted to the types of viewing devices you can use. So what we can only use the app for at the present time is books that are out of copyright and freely available. So this tends to be things like the classics like Great Expectations that's more than 100 years old and it's out of copyright. But if you were to buy an e-book now from Amazon or wherever, you wouldn't be able to use it on the app at the moment. And what we'd like publishers to do is maybe change their digital rights copywriting software, it's known as DRM, so that the books aren't encrypted um, in a way that stops people from viewing the book in the way they want to, depending on the, the aid that they've got or the visual application they've got. So we want a more lightweight DRM so that people can buy a book and then see you view it in the way they want to.